Hi guys, welcome to smackbox.org. I'm going to try to give you a quick tutorial on using Linux Mint 9 and a Droid X Bluetooth tethering. Uh, I've been having a little bit of issues here and there uh, of getting the connection, but once you get the connection, it seems to work really fine. It was very easy to set up the first time. I guess everything just went well. Um, but what I've noticed so far is that the Droid actually has a little bit of issues connecting uh, to the, the device, either your laptop or desktop. Uh, one of the key things to notate is to make sure you disable your uh, wireless if you're on wireless or LAN if you're on LAN. Make sure you turn that off. Okay. Make sure your phone Bluetooth is turned off first, and you're going to go ahead and activate the uh, preferences, which is going to pull up this box here. Bluetooth preferences. Okay. Uh, turn on the Bluetooth on the phone first. Okay. And once that synchronizes, go ahead and turn on Discoverable because obviously you want to be able to find a device and you're going to go ahead and say set up a new device okay it's going to begin to um, search for the device here All right. and once it finds it you're going to go ahead and hit forward once you hit forward it's going to go ahead and give you a pin number that pin number is going to come up and ask you to put it in your phone so make sure you kind of hurry up through this process here because if you delay it too long it will fail you're going to hit OK and you can see it said that it setup is complete. Then it's going to come out a box here that says sec uh, setup is complete, successfully set up your new device, and it gives you the device name. And it's asking you if you want to let that device access the internet through your mobile phone. And you're going to hit yes, okay, and hit close. All right, now this is where I've ran into a problem. You'll see right here on the phone it says paired but not connected. All right. At this point here, you're supposed to come over here to the wireless and you're going to see a PANU device. You're going to see a MAC address with a PANU device. I'm supposed to click that and everything connects. We'll give it a try here and see what happens. You can see it trying for a network and you can see right here the little computer icon popped up. It looks like it's going to connect. Once it connects you're going to see a little tower here. This is where I've had an, a, a little issue. Okay now it shows me it's connected so it all worked. But the little issue I've been having is that sometimes that will not connect and what you're going to have to do is go through the whole pairing process again okay and um, and turning off the Bluetooth on the phone that's the part you're going to have to go through again but as you can see right here you're showing Bluetooth on the phone and here's shown the little computer that's connected that's exactly what you want you can go ahead and try the internet now and you can see if I can go ahead and do a test it worked we can try uh, smackbox.org and see if it finds it it's connecting it's pretty quick as you can see it, it, it's moving along we're using Bluetooth I have no no uh, LAN or anything connected um, so it is definitely moving pretty good you can see here in the networks if I right click on this enable wireless is unchecked okay if I was connected to LAN it would have said auto ETH, uh, ETH 0 Okay, it's it's not connected to anything else. We can do a bandwidth test, and you can even see I've actually had the results on the uh, website, and it's pretty quick. Um, I think it's almost about a one megabit a second, so it's not too bad for uh, for Bluetooth, I gotta say, and using 3G network. Um, there hasn't been too much test, I guess, uh, or I mean, I should say confirmation on if it's actually going to cost money or not. Um, supposedly Verizon is not catching on to it there's also some applications out there that like the Wi-Fi that uh, supposedly you can use wireless and they're not catching on to that. that that's another thing but for right now this is this is working out it's not an extra charge it's really not that hard to set up so hopefully uh, this will work easy for you guys out there as you can see there's your bandwidth like I said it's almost getting about a mega sec so not too bad Alright, well hopefully you guys enjoyed this at smackbox.org.